System32 is one of the most important folders on your Windows system. But what would happen if you were to delete it? Today we're going to delete System32 on every Windows version ever released, with the exception of super old Windows like 3, 2 and 1. Starting with Windows 11, here we have to open up the file explorer, and then we just go to this PC, local disk, Windows, System32. There are of course many methods to delete System32, but what I'm gonna do is Ctrl A to select everything and let's just delete it. This will select all of the files in System32 and delete as many as it can. And it's done. Let's see how many have we deleted. 61 items it has deleted. When we empty the recycle bin, we find out that we are deleting over 700 files from the System32 folder. However, what I am also going to do is delete System32 files from the command prompt as well, so that we actually delete as many files as possible. Now let's check the damage. When we open up the file explorer, we can see that the whole sidebar is gone, the icons are gone. This feels so weird. The recycle bin icon just disappeared. I guess we cannot open any icons anymore. Unspecified error. It doesn't even say what kind of error this is. Paint? Maybe that works. Not even system settings works. I soon found out that I can't even restart. The menu doesn't appear. So I had to shut down my machine and once we boot back up, we see preparing automatic repair. Windows has detected that something's wrong and is now trying to repair our system. Automatic repair could not repair your PC. Advanced options. So yeah, this is pretty bad. But now let's delete System32 on Windows 10. And the process here is very similar to what we just did on Windows 11. The system folder here is also located inside of Windows and there it is, System32. Let's actually see how many can we delete like this. Delete. It took a while and some of the items were moved to the recycle bin. How many do we have? About 69 items, including the folders. Okay, let's recycle these ones. So I recycled the items and once again deleted even more files to the command prompt. Right away it seems like I, I cannot open the file explorer. What about everything else? Memory could not be read. Okay. I can't click on anything anymore. I get... Okay. I'm guessing that we have broken some really important System32 files that have now broken the Windows shell. Once we restart the system, we are once again welcomed into automatic repair. Automatic repair could not repair your PC. Same thing that we just saw on Windows 11. Now it's time we do it on Windows 8.1. This start menu is so frustrating. I don't like it. This is such a weird menu. So let's go to Windows and there should be System32 right here. There it is. And let's again do Control all and Delete. I know that there are people who like Windows 8 and 8.1, but it's pretty torturous to use this operating system. We have 70 items in here, so let's recycle all of them. We have just deleted about 3000 items. How can I find the command prompt? Run as administrator. Once again, I took ownership of the files, granted myself permissions and deleted even more System32 files. Checking out the damage, we can no longer run applications. Skype, does that work? Nope. They seem to be opening, but they don't work. These are called Metro apps, by the way. Some icons all throughout the system have disappeared as well. Windows cannot find something something. I guess let's restart it, except I can't even do that. Preparing automatic repair, okay. So just like on Windows 11 and 10 and on this one, you also have the same screen. I really do not want to troubleshoot this operating system. But now we have to move to Windows 8. Hi, check out the new way to use Windows. No. Does it look good? Yes. Is it practical to use? Hell no. Computer, local disk, Windows, System32, and let's select all of them and do this. The process is fairly similar to the previous one. So how many do we have? We have 115 items and when we delete it, it's 764 items deleted. There's like a like a little... What I need now is command prompt. Can we run as administrator? I honestly think this is a bit better than Windows 8.1, but it's still bad. I then deleted even more files. And I want to see what works and what doesn't work. Windows cannot find taskmanager.exe. Screen resolution settings cannot be opened. The system was in this half broken state and we now have to reboot and see what happens.
Repairing automatic repair. It was loading the repair screen once again. However, this time it seems like we cannot even get to the recovery screen. It just reboots and starts repairing the automatic repair all over again. So with that being said, let's jump onto Windows 7. Here we are with our beautiful background. I really like this operating system. But anyway, computer, local disk, Windows, System32. Now let's select all of it and press on delete. Are you sure you want to move whatever items to recycle bin? This time the deletion process was a bit different. Every time I would delete something, the process would stop and not continue. And I would have to select everything again and press on delete. This happened a bunch of times. We have deleted something from the System32 that makes Windows 7 think that this version of Windows 7 is modified and not genuine. But anyway, I just kept deleting. What? 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 You may be a victim of software counterfeiting. That's because I just deleted something. System profile is a system file. Yes, we are gonna have to use the command prompt. So I did what we had done on previous operating systems. And while I was browsing around the system waiting for stuff to delete, this happened. Our, our background went black. Let's see, can I bring it back? Change desktop background. Let's do this one. And it's back. I granted myself permissions and we could delete even more System32 files. It was done. Now let's check the damage. Everything seems to be working fine, except I can't open the calculator. I can't open anything. The application was unable to start correctly. There was also nothing really working from the start menu as well. This computer is not running genuine Windows. Resolve online now. There is a problem. There are some icons I cannot even press on anymore. Widgets still work. Server execution failed. There's not much going on. Discover Windows 7. I guess let's restart the system and see what happens. So I tried to shut it down, only to find out that I cannot shut it down. Everything has disappeared, but the cursor is still there. I then booted the system back up and I saw this. Windows is loading files. Startup repair is checking for your system for problems. Attempting repairs. Startup repair cannot repair this computer automatically. Send information about this problem. But now, Windows Vista. Oh, and I have to mention that I have accidentally downloaded a Windows Vista Turkish edition. And that's a problem, because I do not understand a single word of Turkish. Um, okay. How do I find the file explorer? Ah, uh, oh my god, okay. Let's just do it this way. What does it say? Um, hmm. Okay, can I go to the C drive, maybe? I can read this at least. Windows, and we have System32 right here. So let's do Control A, and which one is delete? Was it SIL? Yes, Turkish viewers, I apologize. So we are deleting System32. I'm clicking some buttons and just hoping that it works. So I guess this one says try again, and this one is skip. I think this is the same thing as we just saw on Windows 7. Now in the recycle bin, we have 59 items. Let's just select all of them and delete. Let's open up the command prompt. How do you say command prompt in Turkish? And which one is open as administrator? What did I just do? Open as administrator. Open as administrator. Nope. This one? Nope. Okay. I took ownership of the files, but I only managed to do that. I could not delete files from the command prompt because my usual command didn't work. So I just moved files from System32 to the recycle bin and recycled again. This allowed me to delete a few more files. Then I shut down the system and when I booted it back up, we were in the Windows recovery screen. So Windows Vista is also finished. Now let's get to Windows XP. This one's an absolute classic. Your computer might be at risk. Yeah, of course. So let's go to my documents, local disk, windows, and it should be, there it is. So let's select everything and let's delete. 32 minutes remaining. It did just move something to the trash. We have how many? Very little items in here. Accessories, command prompt. I don't even have to tell you what I did. You already know at this point. More System32 files are deleted. Does everything still work? Windows cannot find the run DL32 AEXE. Pick a task, change the computer's theme. Change the background. Screen server? No, okay. Change the resolution? No, also no. Games, pinball. We can still play pinball. I guess let's restart the system and see what happens. Restart. Windows could not start because the following file is missing or corrupt. Windows root system32 hall dll. 
now. Let me introduce you to Windows ME. Millennial Edition. What was my password? Or as it's called by the community, Windows Mistake Edition. I have installed the graphics drivers on this operating system. I, I think, yeah, those are the only drivers I installed. So what we have to do is open up the command prompt. ms -DOS prompt. Okay, that's what it's called. So let's delete the system32 with Dell3. However, the system32 folder here is not that important. The real system folder is just called system. This is the most important folder on Windows ME. It even takes a bit longer to delete. Immediately, there's not much changed. Now, I don't know if you can see this, and I'm not sure how to explain it, but my mouse cursor was moving really weird. It was sort of dragging on the screen, and I can barely even move it around. I think this is because there could have been some kind of mouse driver that we deleted, or some important DLLs, which causes my mouse cursor to not behave very well. This was a very strange experience, but I did manage to shut down my system. When we booted it up, however, the following file is missing or corrupted. This system cannot boot anymore. Very nice. Let's try deleting System32 on Windows 98. Once again, the System32 folder is located inside of C drive, Windows, and there it is. However, here also the System32 folder is not that important. The real folder we have to delete is the one that is just called System. It contains a bunch of files. So I opened up the ms -DOS prompt and I deleted System32 first of all, and also the big boy system folder. Right away, nothing much has changed. If we check out the folders, they are still present in the Windows directory. However, the system folder has noticeably way less files than it used to have. When I open something like the control panel, it is completely empty. We cannot change any settings because there are no settings. Now, if I go ahead and restart Windows 98, when it boots back up, we see that some file is required for Windows to run. We would have to reinstall Windows 98 from now on. But what about Windows 95? This one's also interesting. If we navigate to my computer, Windows, we see that there is no System32 folder, but only the System folder. We can go ahead and delete it. Looking around, everything still works fine at the first glance, except for the control panel. That one is also empty now. There are a lot of files that we cannot open anymore. Also something like Notepad EXE. But let's restart the system and see what happens. Windows 95 has this cool shutdown screen. When the system boots back up, as expected, Windows cannot run anymore. That's pretty much it for Windows. Comment down below which Windows version do you think performed the best in this experiment. And remember, I'll be back.